We do things like that, like with 3D and video. And so that's kind of bled into into my personal life. So it's it's hard to avoid being, able, you know, being kind of associated with uh, things like 3D design and websites and, and all that stuff. But uh, you know, I'm trying to, to keep focused on, <laughs> on, on the woodworking. Hi, my name is Rod and I'm with Mountain Makers. Uh, this is my channel and I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I came at this from the, from the tech side of things. Uh, I'm a software developer by training, software engineering, that kind of thing was what I did in the past. And, uh, but I've always been familiar or uh, interested in woodworking, mainly out of the need for a lot of DIY. Uh, my wife and I would do a lot of that with, uh, when, we first got, when we got our first home and you know, we found the need to, to get creative about you know, how we wanted to furnish it and things like that. So that kind of paved the way towards the, the woodworking shop I have now. And uh, we live in Townsend, Tennessee, which is in Eastern Tennessee, just outside the National Park. And we built a barn. Uh, it was a family project where my son, my wife and I built this barn that was going to, to house her goats. She had, she had been raising goats. And over time, as the goat phase kind of um, shifted, uh, I started taking over the barn and bringing in more tools. And that became a woodworking, what I call it, a woodworking hobby that got out of control. And then um, just before the pandemic is when we bought our Woodland Mills uh, HM126. I had bought it because we had some plans to use it for building structures around the property and for just miscellaneous things since we had access to a lot of great wood. And then uh, as the shop developed, uh, interestingly, we our shop grew during the pandemic when we were in lockdown and it gave us a lot of opportunity to play with different ideas. And I got CNCs, uh, more tools. And uh, eventually we, we kind of built a relationship with a local resort here that needed some, some, some custom products. Eventually we found ourselves uh, becoming small product makers uh, for small, uh, for, uh, batch product manufacturing. What that means is uh, they would request different, uh, uh, we, we talk about different product ideas. Uh, I would prototype them and then they would say, well, okay, that's something we would like to, to promote as our product and put on our uh, online store. So we, we've been doing that for since, the, since 2020. Uh, we have a local presence here in Townsend. So our Instagram channel has helped with that. So people see what we do. Uh, it ranges from uh, uh, charcuterie boards, uh, some furniture every now and then, things like chess boards, um, games, uh, anything that we can make out of wood uh, is, is, is open. You know, we, we, we always try to think of different things that, uh, that we, can, we, can, we, we can make just for the fun of it. And then uh, ultimately, uh, some of those end up in our shop, and we do have a uh, a shop here in Townsend. It's uh it's at the Dogwood Mall. Uh, we don't do any online selling at the moment, but that's you know that's something that we might look into in the future. Where the mill comes in is, like I said, we have a lot of access to different species of great hardwoods, and having the mill is is just like a, a revelation as far as what you know what possibilities that brings. The kind of products that we showcase on our Instagram uh, feed is, are things like. Uh, chess boards, uh, folding chess boards. Uh, uh, we have a couple of backgammon sets and somehow we ended up taking on the role of being a game maker. All of the, the fun stuff that uh, usually, uh, you know, we, we, we've tried to elevate with, uh, with, with our, appro our approach with, uh, with the wood. Even something as simple as tic-tac-toe, uh, we, 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 we kind of put some fun into it. It's just a board with the, with the pockets, but we laser engrave uh, some some designs onto it, and we make the pieces out of acrylic, which is another thing that uh, that that's what's nice about being able to work with different materials. I mean, we work primarily with wood, but everything is pretty much uh, a possibility. I mentioned my 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 previous background. I came from you know from from the, the IT side of things uh, as a computer developer. I also uh, have a uh, marketing company down in Florida, which uh, you know I still run remotely, and we do things like that, like with 3D and video, and so that's kind of bled into into my personal life. So it's it's hard to avoid being you know 
being kind of associated with uh, things like 3D design and websites and and all that stuff. But uh, you know, I'm trying to to keep focused on <laughs> on on the woodworking. I'll throw out a teaser there because I kind of alluded to it, but I'd not, you know, it's not something that I want to really announce, but we're working, um, the, the timber frame project I, I mentioned is something we're, we're building, uh, uh, a kind of, uh, we're building a house <laughs> and I've always wanted to do uh, timber framing. And now that I have the mill a bit more experience and I practice with a few, few, few different things, I want to be ambitious about it and uh, that's something my wife and i've been talking about it's basically the idea is we want to build a house uh, a timber frame house and the mill is going to be a big part of it and uh you, the mill and the shop really because it's kind of a, 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 a coming together of all of those different pieces that uh, we've put together over time and it's kind of led us to you know down this path of hey we 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 could take that on you know we're we're ambitious enough and, and <laughs> I guess uh, and crazy enough to be wanting to even consider doing it and when you have you know the, the tools behind you to uh, to make it actually happen then it's not so crazy you know with IT you usually have to support it and I did a lot of that uh, my time and what a, one of the things that I find the most enjoyable about shifting into woodworking is that unlike software you actually get done with projects. You know, my experience with software is it never really gets done because you have versions and versions and bug fixes and support and all of that. Whereas with woodwork, woodworking, you're still allowed to be creative or able to be creative. But when you're done, really you're done. You know, you hand off the project and uh, you don't really have upgrades or uh, hopefully any bug fixes. But uh, it's, it's definitely been a refreshing switch.